Gio Giovanni. And I'm Matthew Libieri. And we're your personal ad heroes. <laughs> um, I love you know, these big hitters. Oh, yeah. So it's, do it's I. Like, I, like, I like that we just get right to the point. We just give, give the audience what they want, just the facts. In our opinions, let's go. Let's do this. That's right. That's right. Uh, well, speaking of which, uh, you know, we're going to kind of go into our backyard a little bit and uh, discuss uh, great old uh, Elon Musk there, or as the trending post or the trending hashtag is uh, hashtag Elon Gate. <laughs> Elon Gate. Yeah, trending uh, on Twitter. AKA Elon Moneybags. <laughs> Cha ching. Um, <laughs> You know, the, uh, a lot has been going on. Obviously, we discussed this earlier on the Ad Hero podcast about the buyout. Uh, I believe it you know it ranges anywhere between forty to forty six billion dollars. That's with a B. And uh, we just wanted to give this is the enough Twitter. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Excuse me. And uh, we just wanted to kind of give like an update of like what's going on. There's tons of stuff happening but if we just focus on, on like a business aspect of it very interesting things here uh this is coming from the verge.com from a tweet of and i'm probably pronouncing this wrong but tesla rt uh elon musk actually tweeted out uh that 20 percent now it, let me get to a little bit of context here real, just real quick it was it was believed to be that five percent of the user base of twitter uh, was bots and that's coming from the actual board and the executives and that's what they admit however uh, with some findings here and it looks like through the SEC Elon Musk tweeted out 20% of fake or spam accounts while four times what Twitter claims could be much higher my offer was based on Twitter's SEC filings accurate Yesterday, Twitter's CEO publicly refused to show proof of less than 5%. This deal oh, cannot shit. move forward until he does. And that was retweeted out by Tesla Ari, who also tweeted, Elon Musk may be looking for a better Twitter deal as $44 billion seems too high with 20% of users being fake or spam accounts. So, Matthew, I have a couple of things on this. And uh, I want to get your opinion on it. Yes, do, do you think that <clears throat> is, is Elon Musk going in for a better deal or with even more information uh, than the, the information I just provided here, uh, is Elon Musk maybe trying to subterfuge Twitter and uh, call them out for what they might be, which is a bunch of fake accounts? Maybe a little bit of both. Uh, you know, you uh, think you're buying a Ferrari, and then you look under the hood, and it has a Honda engine. <laughs> Mic drop. Boom. <laughs> that could be the that could be the teaser clip right there that we send out uh, for this quick hitter. <clears throat> but in all reality, uh, that's that's pretty much what's being projected to be happening right now, right? They they have, and and by the way, the the executive board at Twitter could be in some very, very serious trouble with the law and the United States government. If they signed documents saying to the SEC, which is the Securities Exchange Commission, which regulates stock, uh, per, you know, the, the, the transactions of the stock market, right? So if they submitted documentation saying 5% of our user base are fake accounts, bot accounts, and people subsequently bought shares of Twitter or sold shares of Twitter based on that knowledge. And now it comes out that in fact, 20% of the user base are bots. Think about all the billions of dollars that has exchanged hands and people have either made money or lost money based on that previously falsified information. So this is this story about whether or not Elon Musk follows through with the purchase of Twitter, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm. This is going to be, we haven't seen anything yet. And he is justified in saying, you told me I was buying X. Looks like I'm really buying Y. Okay. 
And my analogy with the Ferrari, with the Honda engine is spot on because yeah, why should he have to pay the original full asking price if what he's getting is not as much value as what he thought? Okay. So is he doing this to kind of like put a spotlight on how many fake accounts there are? Sure. But I think he's also doing it because he's probably pissed off. He probably thought I'm buying a really awesome, amazing thing here. Um, and it's not as awesome as, and amazing as I thought. And so my time has been wasted. My investor's time has been wasted. Twitter, on the other hand, is saying you've wasted everybody's time. Elon, you know, telling everyone you were going to do this. We agreed to do it in principle. And now you're saying you're going to back out. So there's just a lot of negative energy around this entire thing. And you know, I wouldn't want to be anywhere close to this transaction. Um, and I don't envy Elon Musk's position. I think he does a lot of what he does for the hype. I think a lot, he does a lot of what he does for you know PR and for publicity for his other businesses, SpaceX and Tesla, of course. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, he's in, he's entangled in some serious, some serious stuff right now. Uh, but I think Twitter is also going to be on the hook to give some explanations to the American people, possibly in Congress, maybe before a, a committee hearing what's, what's going on with your numbers here. What's so the, sub, so the, to, to sum all that up, basically what you're saying is it's possible that Twitter could have basically fluffed up their own company and made themselves seem bigger than they are, thereby uh, pulling a wink over the uh, anyone who's invested into that company and also advertisers as well, I'll, I'll add, as uh, Elon Musk actually was quoted here on a tweet where he said, so how do advertisers know what they're getting for their money? This is fundamental to the financial health of Twitter. Well, and let me take it a step further. Who's in control of all these bots? Yeah. Okay. You have 20% of your user base is in fact fake accounts. You could, whoever's in managing all those fake accounts or in control of that, could direct all of those accounts to support a political candidate, to... Uh, uh, you know, uh, smash the, the somebody else, you know, in this world that we live in of cancel culture, like they could direct all these fake accounts to be saying falsified information and just drumming up all this negative stuff on somebody, right? And like tearing people down, building them up, supporting a cause, not supporting a cause. Um, you know, sadly, a lot of people look at Twitter as you know, a real source of news and information. And maybe some of the information on there is real, but you need to do your own homework. If you're listening to my voice right now. You know, you should not subscribe to any one particular news channel or news outlet for what's going on in the world. You need to add, you need to subscribe to a multitude of sources and discover for yourself where there's a, a commonality in the information being presented. And then you internalize that information and decide how it makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. But don't just be like, oh, Twitter's my end all, end all be all source for news and information. Because with 20% of the user base possibly being bots, that information could very easily be falsified and sway the, 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 the conversation in a particular way and influence people either good or bad. It's, very interesting thing. Very interesting world that we're living in right now with this entire thing. It reminds me of that uh, line, fake it till you make it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, right? <laughs> so, so, I mean, look, if let's just say then that, because I, I, I was thinking about this today. Let's just say then he wanted to bring down Twitter because their stock has dropped drastically. Uh, in fact, it's... Um, it's gone. I think the the price now. Well, it's, it might be too hard to under uh, under three dollars. It's it's it's. Uh, let's see. Here it is. It is. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh man, I'm gonna have to edit this part out because I can't seem to find it now. <laughs> but anyway, it, it it has dropped. It it has uh, it has definitely dropped, 
And um, I'm kind of thinking that what if, oh, it's uh, trading at 38.29 when it was at 51.7. And That's that, right. Yeah. And uh, I thought actually, that was like a three, like a, th like a three or four dollar drop. Yeah. So um, what I've been thinking, though, is that what if he were to kind of help or kind of bring down Twitter in whatever reason that he may think it is or, or whatever his cause is um, and the stock just keeps going down, 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 down till like practically nothing. I mean, I don't know if I've ever heard of something like that before. Yeah, it's very interesting. I, I don't know the answer to that either, but it's very possible. He has that level of influence, you know, um, and I think, again, back to my previous point, just you have to be very, you have to be very vigilant about what information you subscribe to and what you accept to be truth and facts. You need to do your homework. You need to, you need to ask a multitude of sources, do your own reading, do your own research. You know, don't just take one person's word for it. Uh, and certainly a lot of people look at him like he's some living God, which he's not. Um, but they, whenever he makes a statement or, you know, bets on something, people go, wow, every, oh, Elon Musk is into it. You know, again, he's just a man, you know, don't overread into stuff. And, but it, to answer your question, it's quite possible that he could have that level of influence to, to take down Twitter. That's right. Well, I think that's about going to wrap it up here for the uh, quick hitter right here. The ad I would like to hear what the listening audience has to think. Do you guys agree or disagree with the points that we made today, get on those socials, give us some uh, interactions here. Give us some likes some comments some feedback, good or bad. We'll take it all. Um, because that's, uh, if you're enjoying the show, that's really going to help us teach the algorithms of all these social platforms to put this video out there in more places, get some new listeners to join in, check it out. So we appreciate you guys. And if you're at, if you're on Twitter, then add us, follow us at ad symbol. That's right. <laughs> and That's you can right. find this episode right here on rumble.com. That'll do it. it. Is. My name is Gio Giovanni. And I'm Matthew Livieri. Signing out.